Hey guys, so today while I was out looking for queens, um, which has actually been very successful the uh, past couple of weeks, I found a couple of different queens. Um, one pretty large colony of which I was able to get the queen and many, many, maybe like 15 or 20 um, ants from, I believe it's Tetramorium, I'll show you guys that in a second. But today while I was out, I found something really interesting. It had recently rained and I guess the, uh, was it only the ants <laughs> that were liking the, the, uh, the water? Um, so here in my main outworld, which I have not connected up to any ants yet, um, which I, in a previous video, showed you guys the massive aphid colony, which you can see when I'm blowing it. You can kind of see them all in there. There's a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, today while I was out, I actually found three salamanders. Um, and I live in Pennsylvania, um, a little bit outside of Philadelphia. So this was kind of interesting. Here's one of them right there. Um, they're actually adorable. Um, I have to be careful because I don't know how well they can scale the glass walls. I'm pretty sure from what I can tell they can get all the way up it, but I have uh, this wood board which I usually keep over it, so they, it should be fine, but I'm going to have to figure out something to do a better job to keep them in. Um, but there's another one in the corner over there, um, and I believe I do have either two males and a female or two females and a male because this one, as you can see, is fully gray. Um, it's hard to get my camera in there to show you. He's adorable, or she. Um, but then there's also two of them with this orange stripe down the side. This one's down there in the corner. Um, trying to get under that little the rock and dirt. Um, but this one you can see much clearer has this orange stripe. So I think that they're different genders. Um, this one and, uh, this one are the same. But I don't know for sure. Um, but I think that's pretty interesting. I went out and I got some more substrate from outside, straight out of my garden. Just took some nice, um, dirt. Because they were, they were, I kept seeing them try to dig in and they couldn't get underneath. So I got them some more, so they'll be able to do that. But um, upon some research, it turns out they do eat springtail slash aphids, um, so they should be right at home in here. Um, I don't know. We'll see how they they uh, hold out. Um, but they make this adorable little like crackling sound, which is kind of funny, I guess, when they talk to talking to each other. Um, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then in here, now you guys won't really be able to see without a lot of light, but I actually, in my outworld, yeah, it's going to be tough to see, but I have a colony if I can shelter this sun, you might be able to see in there. Um, there's a lot, there's, ah, it's not really going to work. I'll have to do a separate video on it. But I did get a uh, queen with a lot of workers with her. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.